GrooveMail is key for managing leads, broadcasts, and automations. You can find statistics for your GrooveMail account on the dashboard, as well as shortcuts to all the features. But before diving in, the first place to visit is Senders. Filling out the information under Email or SMS Sender will allow you to send broadcasts. You will also need leads to send these broadcasts too. You can create forms in GrooveMail for use in your pages, or just go to Contacts and click Add New Contact to create an individual contact to your account. Contacts are organized through lists, tags, categories, and segments. Lists are groups of contacts and are seen by your contacts when they click to manage their email subscriptions. That means it's a good idea to keep a few lists with different topics so people can choose what they are more interested in. Tags are more specific details that you can add to your contacts. These are not seen by customers at all, so you can be very specific about anything you'd like here. Since you may be creating a lot of these, tags are organized under categories. Segments are live updating groups of contacts. You could create a segment of anyone who fills out a form, purchases one product, but specifically has not purchased another. Anyone who meets all of those requirements at any time will be in that segment. With all that together, you can create and send a broadcast found under Campaigns. You can send broadcasts to anyone who is on a list, fits a segment, or has a tag applied to them. Once you have selected recipients, you'll build your email in HTML, a basic email builder, or our favorite, the Groove Email Builder. Here, you can select templates, modify them, and add more content to them. GrooveMail is also where you can create an automation or sequence for your contacts. Let's look at automations first. An automation is an if-then statement. If a contact does something, then the automation does something else. Say if a contact fills out a form. Then you are granting them complimentary access to a membership you created. Unlike segments, these are not retroactive. Automations only happen when they are triggered by a contact actively doing something. Sequences are combinations of both automations and broadcasts. You can schedule it all and create multiple flows depending on what your contact does. Sequences can also be seen by contacts when they edit their subscription lists. Finally, under Analytics, you can see stats for all your contacts, lists, broadcasts, and sequences. If you get stuck or have any questions, reach out to us here or check out our growing collection of tutorials here.